The world's biggest airport. Traveling by air has become the trend in the contemporary world. Everyone wants to get to their destination fast and in a fashionable way. Perhaps that explains why airports are some of the busiest and biggest places in the world. It's no wonder that about 4 billion people travel by air annually. But even as the passenger number keeps growing, so do the airports. And today, airports have become much more like cities with multiple runways, several control towers, shopping malls, hotels, accommodation spaces, car parks, and thousands of staff members to keep them running. It thus comes without asking that indeed the biggest airports are the most expensive and record the largest traffic throughout the year. So, be sure to watch this video until the end as we explore the biggest airports by land size, traffic, and of course, terminal size. Beijing Daxing International Airport is the newest entry on the list of the world's largest airports. Located in Daxing, 46 kilometers south of the city center, Daxing International Airport is the largest single airport terminal in the world. And even though it's the largest single building terminal, the land area that the terminal sits on comes in the sixth position among the world's biggest airports by land size. The terminal building spans over 7.5 million square feet with a total land area of over 18 square miles. The airport was constructed for a staggering $11 billion, specifically to ease congestion at Beijing Capital International Airport, which was reaching its maximum capacity. This new international airport was designed to meet the current population travel needs in the country. The designer of this massive airport, architect Zaha Hadid, knew exactly the challenge of congestion and time wastage that might arouse once the construction of this huge airport is over. So, she decided to settle on a futuristic starfish design with six curved spokes spreading out from a central hub to accommodate all the planes and the huge influx of passengers with ease. In fact, the architect chose the starfish design for convenience and eco-friendliness. This design of the terminal allows passengers to walk from check-in to their allocated gate in about eight minutes. This reduces time wastage for passengers. Additionally, the central hub has eight 350-foot wide skylights at the top to offer enough natural light which reduces energy wastage. The impressive Starfish Terminal is a seven-floor complex bringing all facilities under one roof. The complex also has an underground structure that links to a satellite building. It is designed to have 79 aircraft stands neatly arranged across five piers. There is also the central courtyard, which is the main commercial center, located at the center of the structure. The sixth and last pier is specifically designated to host administrative offices and parking. Now, with this kind of design, passengers are easily guided along routes leading them to a large central courtyard, which links to different areas of the terminal, including the departure, arrival, or transfer areas. The central courtyard is considered the heart of the terminal offering a space for meeting and waiting, organized over several levels. Daxing International Airport opened to the public in September 2019, becoming Beijing's second largest international airport, and is expected to be one of the busiest airports in the world, with flights traveling to 120 destinations. Even more impressive is that the airport will have the capacity to handle 620,000 flights and 100 million passengers each year upon completion. According to plans, the airport is expected to handle 72 million passengers annually by 2025 and some 100 million passengers annually by 2040. And with such a huge number of passengers, you're probably wondering how the airport is suited to handle all the passengers fast and in a secure way. Well, a lot of technology has gone into the construction of this international airport. There are 400 self-service check-in kiosks that can handle up to 80% of all check-ins. Also, the biometric scanners and smart security checks are all designed to help shorten queuing times and enhance security at the airport. Beijing Daxing International Airport is also considered one of the most environmentally friendly airports in the world. This considering that it has water management systems, solar panels to power the airport, and waste heat recovery systems to reduce the impact of the airport on the environment. The modern design of Daxing Airport does not just stop at the interior. The exterior is also done to perfection by world-renowned architects. 
The Departure Lounge features five traditional Chinese courtyards, which offer outdoor spaces on a sunny day for passengers to relax before embarking on their long flights. The courtyards are modeled after a classic Chinese garden, with landscaping featuring a pond, wooden benches, a pavilion, as well as winding pathways lined with greenery and rocks. Indeed, Daxing International Airport is a place you definitely want to hang out, especially considering that it has plenty of food and drink options for passengers. To be specific, there are over 70 food and beverage outlets, free Wi-Fi, and a plethora of retail outlets from Chinese and international brands. Apart from that, you'll also find accommodation spaces offering round-the-clock services with hourly room rates. So, Daxing International Airport is more of a city. You can dine, entertain, shop, relax, and even sleep all under one roof. Having seen the largest airport in the world by terminal size, it is time for our honorary mention. And for our honorary mention, we begin with the largest airport based on area size. The second largest airport in the world based on area size is Denver International Airport. This airport is located outside Denver, Colorado. Since this airport opened to the public in 1995, Denver International Airport has had a series of conspiracy theories surrounding its existence. It is even rumored that the airport was established to house the elite should the world come to an end. This airport covers a massive 34,000 acres of land. In fact, it has the longest runway in North America, covering 16,000 feet long. This huge runway must have cost a lot to put together. And yes, over $2 billion was spent on building the runway, pushing the total for the construction of this airport to $4.8 billion. The airport's main terminal has six floors and three concourses. Amazingly, this airport offers round-the-clock services, flying to over 215 destinations while servicing 23 airlines. Moving on, and we have the first position for the largest airport in the world based on area size, going to King Fahd International Airport. This airport, which is located northwest of Dammam, Saudi Arabia, was once used by the U.S. Air Force. But after the Gulf War ended and the soldiers vacated the premises, the airport started to offer commercial flights in 1999. Today, it is the third largest airport by passenger volume in Saudi Arabia. The airport covers 776 square kilometers of land, which is nearly the size of New York City. But you may wonder what exactly an airport can do with all that land. And indeed, there is not much going on. Only 36.75 square kilometers of the whole chunk of land is being used, with the main terminal covering about 0.33 square kilometers. This airport is designed to handle 12 million passengers annually. But the most impressive part of this airport is its grand structures. There is the Royal Terminal, which is preserved for the Royal Family. A look inside the Royal Terminal reveals luxurious furnishings to offer the Royal Family a lavish moment before their flight. Sadly, the Royal Family rarely uses this place, but instead prefers to use a nearby airport. Another great building at the airport is this beautiful mosque, located above the parking lot, that has a capacity for 2,000 worshippers. It's even more impressive that King Fahd International Airport has its own nursery which features three greenhouses and about 36,000 square meters of greenery. The nursery and greenhouses are purposely maintained at the airport to offer a constant supply of fresh plants to the airport. It would be unfair to end this video without mentioning Hartfield Jacksonville Atlanta International Airport, which is the busiest airport in the world. Having held the title for over two decades, this airport prides itself on huge traffic of about 100 million passengers per year. That simplified means the airport handles about 275,000 passengers per day on average. That's a huge number, surpassing the population of Atlanta itself. However, all that reveals that transport by air is becoming more common today than it was a few years back. The terminal and concourse of this airport covers 6.8 million square feet, even more amazing is that Hartfield Jacksonville Atlanta International Airport is also served with 192 gates, which include 152 domestic and 40 international gates. It is also the home of the world's largest airport hub, serving as the main hub for Delta Airlines. It is no surprise that Delta Airline contributes to nearly half the airport flights.